Hello everyone, Obi Vandam here and welcome back to Let's Play Lords and Villains episode 4, I think. Um, there was a patch between episode 3 and 4 and um, I'm really excited about that. Um, you will find a link to the changelog or the changelog itself, depending on the size of it, um, in the whoa, in the description below this video. Um, no, don't need a tailor. Um, the most important update I think that might affect us is um, the game is now smarter in deciding what kind of family it wants um, or it will present us to join the colony. And um, they also changed the pricing or the value of coins, I think. So if you look at the warehouse, um, no, not the warehouse, where is it? The family book and go to inventory. Um, where is the money? Uh, over here, yeah, you can now see we only have five gold coins and five silver coins and 95 copper coins. That's because um, 100 copper is now one silver and 100 silver is now one coin. So um, yeah, these prices was adju uh, were adjusted. Don't get confused by that. You still have the same amount of money as before. It's just distributed slightly different. Um, or not distributed, but um, represented slightly differently. So um, first of all, we have insufficient storage for uh, our family and also for the foragers, I think. So let's give them some additional ground ground storage. Also, I received several comments on why we potentially um, don't see any progress on um, on our building. And it might be due to the fact that um, our family is still busy in building up the storage over here in the warehouse um, because apparently children can't do heavy work and construction is declared as heavy work. So the construction of the floor and the roof can only be done by the two male per, um, members of the family and because that's also something the developers told me um, the people in this game are not very selfish so they tend to prioritize tasks that benefit the entire community and building up the warehouse and the marketplace definitely is more beneficial to the community than building your private property so that's why they prioritize building um, the marketplace and the warehouse compared to the roof and the wall uh, the floor in our uh, in our home okay so that's about the talking uh, and New information, let's get back to building. It is now winter, we are halfway through the winter. Let's see what we need for the king. I think we have almost everything except for corn and some apples. Um, not sure if that is an issue. Also, I would like to know what the king will give us. Can we see that? Oh, mining, masoning, and butchering. So if we get 49 co points, we will definitely ask for the mining family because that, that's something we definitely need. Um, and also, I think during winter, it might be a good idea to, um, to work on the housing, especially of the farmer families, because they don't have anything to do anyways. So they should have time. Yeah, you see that there's nothing um, that they are currently doing. So I would like to do two things with the farmers. First of all, um, adjust their housing. And second, uh, prepare everything for, um, for animals. So she's now cooking. Let's, let's take a look at the, uh, at the family. I think we should have a shortcut. Oh no, um, do we? Uh, show owner family. Yeah, over here. So um, this family only has three people and this family has five. So the bed, they don't all have enough beds. So in that case, I'm not sure if we actually need to change something about their houses. Let's take a look at furniture. What I would like to have is um, some place to sit. So let's add a table. 
Let's also add a bench and two chairs, just like that. And we need the same thing for you, but for you, I would like to do that a little bit differently. Um, let's go to walls. Um, let's go, I think, all the way to here. Um, close that. Then we want to salvage the wall over here. We don't want to salvage the roof. And we want some additional thatched roof over here. So who's now having insufficient storage? Okay, they are getting storage. What are they doing? Yeah, I think we just need a ton more ground storage. This family, they have eight people. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, so they, they work like crazy. Um, let's also give them the sawhorse right here. And it also looks like the forager family that's the family that's um, uh, taking care of pigs. So what we are going to do is we'll go to walls. We'll add a wooden fence right here and right here, here and there. And then just a wooden fence around this yeah the family with eight members should be able to handle uh, working the forest and also taking care of some pigs so let's do this uh, we definitely need a feeder oh let's just let's add two of these so we now have that um don't have a butcher yet but that's okay Let's adjust priorities, go to animals, and we will allow you, allow you to get, let's say, I don't know, four pigs. Fine, okay, that's this. Uh, let's take a look at that over here. Okay, they are building their home. Really curious to see if they are going to use the tables for, for their breakfast, or if this is just purely decoration, decorational. Oh no, they, they are sitting down for food. That's great. Okay, awesome. That's just what I wanted to see. Um, yeah, we definitely need some additional ground storage over here. Can't wait for the next update um, that is going to introduce an, an external trader um, because we have ton of wood let's see how much wood do we actually have uh, 1200 and we have um, we have two forager families so I have an idea wait a second if we go to the family back here and um, let's cancel the sawhorse actually let's go to production remove plan we'll do this um, let's also check if we have enough planks. No, there are no planks. We have 170, so we will just hand out planks like this. Um, another question is, does it potential or does it make sense to only collect mushrooms, blueberries? and take care of pigs. And then we are not going to, uh, between each tree planted. Yeah, let's let's remove all of the trees. No, per tree is fine. Uh, no maple, no spruce, just apple and pear trees. Um, I'm not sure, if, 
can just experiment. We have the pigs, and for products we will not will not create wood. So does this make sense? Well, let's see what happens. We have a tamed animal, which is good. What do they need for that? They need wood. Yeah, they should have wood. Oh, wait, maybe they don't. Um, no, we have 200 wood on sale. So that should be fine. Okay. The uh, sold out resource was planks, but we fixed that. We have an animal tamed. Um, there's still insufficient storage for someone. Yeah, that's you. But what are you uh, throwing? Uh, this is wooden rods. We have some straw. Well, what they don't have is a barrel. But I'm not sure if they actually need a barrel. Um, it's not in here. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, one mistake I made. Um, if we don't keep wood priority up, um, they will not um, remove the the trees that are currently planted, and that way they won't have space to plant um, apple and pear trees. So we'll have to keep that. How many planks do we have? We only have 90 planks, so yeah, definitely. You need a sawhorse. Just go ahead and do me the favor, create, create planks. And what about you? What's your priority on planks? I think we removed the plank priority, right? Oh, it's three to six. Let's also move that down to one. We don't need that much wood, actually. Um, another forager. Nope. Well, so far, the um, giving us better options feature is not working as I would have hoped. Um, let's move the zone for them. We'll remove all of that. They don't need this. Um, they also don't need that. But I want to bring this house a little bit further up like that. Something like this. Maybe let's let's do this. Uh, where's the door? There's the door. Ah, let's let's do this. Okay, I want to experiment a little bit with the different housing shapes. So at the moment, as far as I can tell, there is not that much decoration available. So we have to get creative. Um, Uh, using the shape of the houses instead of just the um, instead of decoration items. So remove this door. We will then add a thatched roof. Does everyone have a bed? Let's see. Um, yes. Even the family with eight people. Uh, we are short on fish, so what's going on over here in the fishing resort? Um, the fishing, you have a fishing net. How much yarn do we have? We don't have much left, so maybe, um, yeah, the farmers definitely need to start to work on uh, taming animals. So far, uh, yeah, this family is just three. This is five. Five people are working are working this land. So I think what we will do is uh, we go to edit zone. Give you some more room. Maybe something like this. Um, and I want to do. Is this no salvages over here? I would like to remove all of that. 
Um, let's also let's do the following. We'll go here, remove this part, add that to here, so we can have a fence around here. That's what I want to do. I want to do a fence. Um, so that means we need to increase the size of this, and then we can have a wooden fence. Oh, can't we? Can't we get rid of this? No, apparently not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's a natural barrier, so that's totally okay. Um, we will do wooden fence all the way to here, all the way to here. Add a fence gate, maybe um, right there, right there. Wait, right here. Yeah, I want to build fences all around here, just like this. Remove that piece. Just like this. And another fence door go right here. Um, we'll then give you a feeder feeder goes there and potentially a chicken bed no wait that's wrong there's the there's the door so three of them right here okay let's see if that works yeah they are now removing the soil that's fine and then they should be building animals tamed Oh, look at that. We have all of these pigs now. It's great. Okay, so we have inaccessible structures. Oh, yeah, that's because uh, the furniture is in the way. Um, so let's remove the chest. Let's remove the beds. So could someone please come here and deconstruct? Thank you very much. Okay, so now let's bring the double beds back uh, right here and here. You will also get your chest back. Chest goes right there. Let's go to floor. This is all planks. Is there something? Limestone. That's all wood. Yeah, that's, that all needs planks. <laughs> no, you don't have a bed. I'm sorry for that. Uh, let's see. A roof should be fine. Let's should be one yeah one row of roof is missing over here that's also fine let's give you some more of that oops okay so now all of that is looking good oh and they continue to work on the roof look at that okay a child was born Wait, what? We had three children before, right? Oh no, we now have four children? Where is number four? Oh, out here. Why? What are you doing? Why are you sleeping? Well, if, if that's what you want to do, it's fine to me. Yeah, she's, con she's continue construct. She is continuing to construct the house. So that works as intended. Um, yeah, for the family of six people, I would like to have um, double table and double bench. Um, that's four. Again, a tailor. I was I was really hoping um, that we would get. Um, yeah, if family, that's that's actually helpful after the patch with the instruction of um, intelligent distribution. Okay, what's now inaccessible? Oh, you can't access this. Um, yeah, well, that's bad. Okay, in that case, 
Um, this layout does not make much sense. Let's see. Oh, what we can we can do something else. Um, yeah, we uh, need to get used to the uh, what works and what does not. Maybe we can. Um, you know what? What we can do? I have a Discord server. Um, there's a link to that in the description of this video, and not just this, but all the others as well. And you can come there and um, post screenshot of your favorite housing layout. So I think most of the layouts I did um, up to now were L-shaped. Um, yeah, it's basically all yeah over here. That's all an L-shape, and that's that's something that's just common in the medieval times, I think. Um, we'll try to experiment a little bit. That's, that's still an L, but something... Um, yeah, I'm not done with that yet. So, um, if you want to, you can come over to the server and show me your favorite layouts. And if I like it, I will use it in the Let's Play and also um, credit your work, of course. And I'm now unsure... We have tax payment day, that's fine. Uh, why is nothing happening over here? Let's see, oh, well, maybe because, yeah, it's the wrong season for everything we told them to do. Um, let's do, I don't know what, let's just do everything to one by default. So, We could do no no barley. Let's do that. And let's do the same thing. Oh, you are already working. What are you working on? Rice? Yeah, you're working on rice. Um I think rice is fine. So in that case, uh you don't need to do rice. Ah, just do rice, it's fine. We'll do the same thing over here. We'll just set everything to one. That's completely fine. Something like that. Okay. Inaccessible structure. Oh, you were trying to deconstruct um, the tables. Okay, so what we can do over here for furniture, uh, we can set the tables like this. And that should work. We'll then have not there. Bench here. Bench there. Bench right here. Uh, that's actually a lot of planks. How much? How many planks do we have? Oh, we have 400. Yeah, of course. And we have 2,000 wooden rods. Um, okay, that's, that's weird. But it's okay. Um, I think we can re-add our floor over here. Now everyone is sleeping in their beds. That's good. And with the amount of planks we have, we can also give all of these houses. Um, some flooring. Let's remove all of that. We now have all of these animals, which is great. Okay, and you are working to get the feeders. I think we need to deconstruct these trees. And this, and this, and that. Why is there a gap? Oh, there's no gap. It's just not finished yet. Okay. So you are now almost done. That's perfect. Oh, look how nice they organized the the fields. Is that intentional or is that random? If if that's if the devs developed it like that that they do it like this, that's perfect. I like I like something like this. Um, yeah, we are sold out, I think, on, on planks again. Um, yeah, let's just throw 150 planks. How much money do we have? Uh, money did not... Oh, it increased by 
I think we had five silver. It should have to, should have been increased by a lot, so that's fine. We'll do this. There's an inaccessible structure again. Uh, you can't access the bench for whatever reason. Do you need to reach the back part? Building is not reachable. Okay, they cannot reach. I can't reach that. Hmm. So it also does not work like this. Another Taylor family. Don't get it. Um, okay, if we move this over by one, we will have problems with the bed, I think. Oh, we, we have this spot over here that we can't use, which is kind of bad, I think. Um... Okay. Final approach. We will get that to work. I also think about this over here. Um, I would like to move the battery here. Salvage this one. Exactly. And then I want to have a door right here. Um, and then we will have a fence and then just two ground storage over here. Just some tiny storage area. That's looking good. And I guess you can also get... Um, Let's see, if we build it like this, or if we build it like that, how many people do live here? Six. Okay, I think we, we definitely need more space in these houses. This house is barely big enough as well. So I think, yeah, the, the easiest thing to do for six people in that case should be doing something like this. Um, and this time we are just going to wait for the tables to be constructed, just like that. And that should work. Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, that's looking good. A child was born, insufficient storage. Um, oh, that's my family. Well, in that case, let's add some storage. I don't know why we have storage issues but we can just add ground storage over here that's the storage area anyways um, like that I can also finish the walls for that house i think um, Yeah, I think I will give you access um, to the outside world through the storage area. Uh, it also looks like we need a back entrance. Or multiple. Oh, and I want to try something else. Um, let's go to production. Uh, farming soil. And let's just place farming soil like this. And in theory, 
if everything is working, uh, our family should plant that because they are responsible for the noble or for the community part. Another fishing family that might help actually, but we don't have yarn yet. Oh, maybe the tailoring. Oh, the tailor families were offered to us because we need yarn for maintenance of fishing nets and also for adding more of those. Yeah, so maybe we should really try to focus on. Oh, everything here is done. So you, uh, let's go to animals. And I want you to grab four sheep. We don't need cattle yet, I think. But I want to have four sheep. So let's let's see if that works. Um, yeah, and I also want you to build a fence. Let's add a fence gate to right here. And then you will just fence off the entire the entire thing. Oh wait, no, not right here. But right there. Okay. Tame the animals. Okay, this one was built. Smelting. Okay, so far so good. Let's do, before we finish the episode, let's take a look at the villagers and see how much stuff they own. Let's start with our family first, uh, especially money. Uh, we, have, we have five gold. Five gold is good. How about you? You have, oh, you have one gold. That's not much. Um, you have seven gold. Okay, the Domingo family is still rich. Yes. Okay, two gold, that's okay. Um, five gold over here. That's the other farmer family. Five gold over here. And yeah, you are poor. Oh, pu poor guy. Um, because yeah, there's no one actually buying the um, buying the wheat and you have to pay uh, buying the flour and you have to pay for the wheat so I think um, yeah we will let's bring that to 50 50 per day that should work um, we have lots we also need more way more fish how does fish work are we um, no wait I mean this um, we are on sockage over here I think we need to do this yes uh, let's make this steward tree now this family is tiny and they they don't need to buy anything for the fish so let's let's yeah let's go 20 for this we'll do that that should be fine. And um, who were the richest families? I think the richest families were the uh, P family. Oh, they have five, or was it Domingo? Domingo family, they had six gold. Okay, so I think I'll go ahead and just tax the house of the Domingo family with like 20. I think we can do that. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. Um, did this work over here? Oh, we now have three female sheep. No, two male sheep. And two female sheep. That, that's good. They also have food. Um, oh, wait a second. What we can also do 
Uh, we can give them... Let's go with three chicken. Just like that. Okay. So why is there a pig on the field? I don't like that. We can continue the farming soil trick. So what you can do with farming soil is... Um, oh, there we go. The miner family has arrived. And we are at the end of this episode. So let me explain the final thing about the farming soil. What you can do is you can place farming soil down um, and then deconstruct it. You can see that over here. Um, and that will result in a path. So at the moment, there's no way to build a street, which means what we are going to do is we'll build farming soil deconstructed and then we have our makeshift road. So that's what I'm doing right here. Do something like this and like this. The millers can come here and we have a path through here. So we have now, oh wait, there's a path missing to the fishing family, something like this. And uh, now we need to find a spot for the miners and they can either go up here. Oh wait, there's, there's one more house that's not having road access so far like this okay so we can either add them um over here or down there because there's a lot of space over here there's also lots of open room over here so i think we are going to add the mining family somewhere in this area but we will do this in the next episode thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time goodbye